Hallelujah. At this time, before we do our tithes and offerings, I'm going to have Sister Judy come. She has a testimony she'd like to share. Thank you. Um, it's a privilege to stand up here. Even though I can't be in and thank God for all the many blessings he's been in my life and my family, the pastor wanted me to say a few words about tithing. So I'm going to tell you, I grew up in a Christian home. Um, I learned very early on, as my brothers and sister do, about tithing and seeing the blessings of God in our family. My parents were very faithful tithers, and they, they honored God in that way. And Many times as a child, I would hear my dad tell my mom, pay the tithing first, and God will always take care of the rest. Yeah. And he always did. Yeah. We always had enough. We had everything we needed. And there was always extra to help other people. I grew up seeing my parents buy groceries, bags of groceries they would take to people's homes, and clothing and shoes. And God really blessed them because he honored, they honored him. Work. Well, uh, when I got married to my husband, he was a baby Christian. He didn't know very much about the Bible, let alone about tithing. So I tried to um, teach him about tithing. Now, we hadn't pulled our men together as man and wife. He still had his checkbook in his house, and I still had my checkbook in my house. He had had his house up for sale for months. And I would hear him in there doing his checkbook, and he'd always be grumbling about money. And I would say, are you tithing? And he'd say, I can't afford to tithe. And I would always say, you can't afford not to tithe. So this went on for a long time. His house didn't sell. He would go and check on weekends. There would be stacks of business cards and real estate. And nobody wanted to buy his home. So he took it off the market. Well, one day at work, at lunchtime, he was sitting in his car, reading his Bible, and he was reading in Malachi, where the Bible uh, Lord says, test me and see about tithing. Yeah. Yeah. So he came home that day, and he said, I'm going to start tithing. And he did. He started tithing. Three weeks later, he put his house back up on the market on Thursday, and Saturday it sold for full price. It talks about tithing, and it says that the tithing is holy unto the Lord. Yeah. So this lets me know that this is important to God. Does he need our money? No. He needs our obedience. And if you read the Bible, there's so many promises that God has that come with condition. The condition is that we do our part, and then he'll always be faithful and do his. Yes. Well, what Robert read that day, was one of those promises with a condition. And just like the Bible says, um, give and it shall be given unto you. Press down, shake it together and ready. Over. Or, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and then these other things will be added unto you. Well, you know, God loves us just like we love our children. Yeah. And what do we want from our children? want them to love us and respect us enough to mind us. And that's God. God wants the same thing out of his children. Amen. Like a mother mothers her children, our Heavenly Father wants to father us. So it's for our good that we're obedient to what the Lord tells us to do, and he always blesses us. Amen. So I'm going to read to you what the Lord showed Robert that day. It's in Malachi. And it says, Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that you will not have room for it. That's an awesome promise from God. Our part is so small, and God's part is so big. So I just want to encourage you, if you're not tithing, you are the ones that are missing out on all these blessings God has and has for you. They're waiting for you. Amen. So I just want to leave you with one thought. Not only does 